Okay, next we're going to add a roof to this model. And to do that, we're actually first we're going to add another level. So I'll explain more about this later, but if you just jump into one of your elevation views, it doesn't really matter which one. And we can see at the moment that we have a ground floor and we have a level one, which we also have in our project browser. Now, if we click on level up in the ribbon bar here, or LL is the shortcut for this, you can see that before you even click your mouse, it wants to snap to a couple of points here. So let's add it in there and just drag it across until it snaps with the other um, the other level heads. Okay, lovely. So once we've drawn that in, we can see it's six meters high, which is great. And then over in our project browser, yep, we also have um, a new um, floor plan um, ready for that level. So if I double click on that, we can see now that we're on um, level two, the level we've just drawn looking down on our project. So this is where we're going to add a roof. So now we'll click on um, roof, which is great. And you can see once again, we edit this sketch mode. Um, and we have our draw tools so go ahead and draw a roof in so you can use pick walls pick lines or you can actually use any of your draw tools to draw the shape of the roof that you want so just draw whatever you'd like um, also notice as well um, that when you choose pick walls it gives you an option over here for an overhang um, and define slope so just tick off define slope and in overhang type uh, 600 whatever your standard overhang is going to be and you can see that once you hover that over your wall it actually puts an offset on it you know 600 mil so once we have all four of them selected now if I just finished this wall uh, this roof as it is would I like to attach the walls? Just say yes to that. And then I go and have a look in 3D view. I have a flat roof at the moment. And now that was that's because um, I didn't define any um, I didn't define any um, slope. So if I just click on one of those lines now and go define slope, it gives me an option. It tells me over here that it's pitching 30 degrees. So it's pitching 30 degrees from this line. And that's pretty steep so if I change that to 5 and then finish the roof you can see it's now pitched up and um, all the walls are attached to it so if you go through and edit the footprint again and you can do this you can just play around and say yeah this define the slope on this one as well at 5 degrees and then finish that it's going to give me a, a roof in the middle Also in 3D now, you can actually, while the roof's already built, change the angle of um, of the of the pitch to suit. So, you know, just play around with that. Remember that you're editing the footprint, so you're entering sketch mode as with the floors, while you play around with the perimeter, and then you finish it um, to come back out and 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 view your 3D model. Okay. So you can now see that we've got a roof. Now clicking on the roof out of the sketch mode also gives you options in the properties bar to change the type of roof that you have. And that's going to look different in all your drawings. So um, once again, yep, steel bar joist. You know, it's got a few default ones that you can play around with. So also have a look there. Okay. That's Ruse.